Greetings, I the War Owl greets you, and welcome to another Matchmaking Academy, where you are the star for all the wrong reasons, and this time we do have Poop Dog. Goodness. I don't know if that's a play on Snoop Dog or Pop Dog, but either way. Really? He's a Master Guardian Elite that's here. So hopefully that'll take the bad taste out of my mouth from that. There we go. We actually got a shot going on there. Bad taste out of my mouth from that uh, silver cast we just did. This is not a pre-made team, but he said he had go. Oh, no flashbacks. Flashbacks. No. No. Why don't you people check that corner? His favorite fish is tuna, and which is good because he says he's moving to Japan this month. So I guess they have lots of tuna there. So yeah, keep in mind that the players are very brave to send these things in, so don't berate them in the comments or anything like that. They are making a commitment to improve at the game. So make sure to just be respectful in your comments toward these players. Don't say, oh, how is he that rank or anything like that. Um, and make sure, that oh my gosh, what a noob! Too much? I think that was too much. Let's figure out what happened there. So one of the questions that um, Poop Dog, goodness, you make me say that, actually had was... How do I hold off long A? Or rather, he said, I'm pretty good at holding off long, but I completely failed at this time. So let's examine it here. Let's check it out and watch him as he moves to hold long. Okay, so now he runs out completely. The first thing you should do is just sort of peek that corner. You shouldn't run out here completely like this unless, unless you've had a teammate flash it for you or, or something like that. Keep in mind that on Dust 2, it's a good idea to have more than one player at long just in case it's going to be a long push. Because if terrorists are able to get out that door and, and take position long, you're in some serious trouble and they'll be able to execute a nice A tick, an A split. So holding off long is very pivotal and keep in mind, I mean look at this, you only have one player here watching long. So that is, uh, I would say, your first mistake. They have three players over at B side, which is just hugely stacked in the wrong direction. You need maybe one player holding off B, one player mid, and then three players over here, and then rotate two of them back to watch short, and then um, one of the players could go CT and watch mid. There's many things you can do, but you shouldn't just have one player playing at long. Now, if you are going to peek out like this, the chances are a terrorist is going to push forward and peek out that window, or peek out the door. So you want to make sure that you have a teammate flash you if you're going to run to pit. Um, Poop Dog just sort of ran out. Another thing you can do if you're solo is do the War Owl flash, which you can probably Google that and find it. So he runs out completely, takes a little bit of a flash, and gets into pit. Um, terrorists about to push out, and we see that player actually has a P90. So getting killed with a P90, there's a first strike against you there, Poop Dog. And what does he do wrong here? I think it's just a matter of shooting this player, besides those other mistakes. Because he has gotten to pit, so the first thing didn't really matter. Okay. He did not stay inside of pit. He's pushing out a little bit. This leaves him a little bit more exposed. But you can catch him off guard at a weird angle going to the um, the blue. Because a lot of times when terrorists charge out, they're just going to run over there to the blue side so they can avoid the players, get some intel. So he hears the players. He knows that they're pushing out here. And Dirty is running out and looking in his position. He is getting in this, this good angle to kill the players as they go to the blue thing. And he walked here. So good job. The problem was just with your shooting, and it wasn't too bad because you did dink the guy. You got him right in the head with that FAMAS. One of the things you could have done instead of purchasing that FAMAS, now let's check out the money uh, right now, is purchase a better weapon. However, it doesn't look like you could have gotten a better weapon than that. So I would say you didn't actually do that bad of a job holding off long. It's just that you needed more than one player there to help you out. You didn't throw any smokes, you didn't throw any flashes, you just tried to shoot the guy, and you were going 1v2. I'm not sure you expected to just hold it off solo like that. Okay, on this round, Blair had some very specific questions about what to do once taking bombsite A. He said, okay, we take bombsite A, and then we're not able to hold it. How do we hold bombsite A? Where was our positioning wrong? Now, it's interesting because we had the exact same question on Dust 2 just for bombsite B in a previous matchmaking academy. Is, by the way, is Dust 2 the only map that people play? Is this just, is this Counter-Strike? Because every single matchmaking academy that's worth watching takes place on Dust 2. It's ridiculous. I do not understand it. All right. Terra is now pushing long. Looking like they're going to get into bombsite A. And we'll be taking it. They only lose one player in the process. So now it's a two versus four for the retake. Or was it two versus five? Two players get picked, overextending themselves. It was actually the Lurk player who got picked, so not too bad. So let's check out the positioning that these terrorists are in for this retake. So two of them are very low, so they're going to be easy frags. Poop Dog moves up, stands exposed. 
uh, and tries to take the long player by himself. All right, we have one player inside of the site, good spot, moves into a worse position as the counter-terrorist rotates from a CT spawn over to long, and they move in from both sides. That player gets killed from two positions at the same time. Plague, I just hate that spot. So let's hop in. I'm going to hop in game, and I'm going to go to those positions, and I'm just going to show you what I think um, would have been better positions or why those positions that they were in really just do not work. So here we are at A. We've taken the site. We've planted the bomb. By the way, let's just look at the bomb planting positions. Um, planting over here and anywhere in this position is planting for long A, which means you're going to be able to watch it from long. So staying into the site is not really going to help you that much. I mean, you know that the players can throw a smoke down and defuse it, but you should still from long be able to kill the player planting if you plant it in this position. Now, safe plant position is right back here behind this box, and that is because you're not visible from anywhere while you're planting it. You're going to have to stay inside of the site to hold it down if you do that bomb plant. So let's say I planted safe. Our hero was standing back here at Goose, and he was sort of watching short. And the mistake he made was he pushed out to these two barrels and just watched short like this. These two barrels are not going to give you any cover. I don't, like, it would duck, you're still a big hole in the middle, like, really, you're visible. These barrels, not a good idea to stand by them. It would have been a better idea to continue to stay here and watch long A and only take short. You can peek out like this if you want to, if they're pushing up on you. So, another thing is when you're playing T side, you have the bomb planted, it's time to play defense. You do not have to put yourself out there. You do not have to expose yourself like these counter-terrorists did. So pushing out and getting behind these barrels, not a good idea. Should have just stayed Goose. And the reason is, look, he's exposed from the players who are going to come CT. He's exposed from long. He's exposed from short. And there's no cover. There's nowhere that you can hide. If you're playing here, you can at least, um, from short, take cover behind this wall. And as I showed you before in the previous match Winking Academy, I really like to play it here just because you have the two boxes as cover. And you can shoot through them too. So if a guy's coming short, you don't have to even look. You just have to go, I know he's going to be there. And just shoot like that and it'll take him down. So the other position that his teammates were in, one was just sort I think one was just like standing here on the ramp. It's like out here. It's like you're super exposed. Once again, you can't take cover. Like where are you going to go? You look around like, oh gosh, oh no, bad guy. You just kind of have to commit to shooting him, but you're dead. And the other position that the other one was in, this one kills me. This is like my pet peeve is when people go here. Again, you cannot take cover. Ducking down here, you're completely visible. And your head is showing. They only have to shoot your head. Who cares if you're, if you're covering your body? The goal of the game is to shoot people in the head. So if you're just showing your head, you're making yourself quite a target there, buddy. And also, where's he going to go? He can't, was he going to jump up like that? Super exposed. Nowhere that he can get to. So, a bunch of different places you can play it from. One is to have a player play it from long. Look here, so you know a player isn't peeking out. And he can watch short as well from here. So, just have a player playing long like that. Or even in the pit if you plant the bomb properly. Another place is over here at, uh, at car. You can watch short from here, and you can peek long like this. And as you see, you always need to have cover. You always need to have cover when you play these spots. When you're going to play inside of the site, do not play on this big ramp because you're going to be super exposed. You have to play from inside of the site. If you are playing a player like this on the ramp and going for those headshot type positions like this to watch short, as well as watching CT, and you should never peek out there, you have to make sure somebody is watching long because if a player comes long, you are exposed. So it's a matter of teamwork, it's a matter of positioning, and uh, the positions that they were in were just not good. I hope you guys do better next time, and uh, thank you very much for sending the demo in. Big thanks to the player for sending the demo in, for having the commitment to improve at the game. We learned what not to do, that's no fun, let's get an Owl Vision. I'm the War Owl, and I still have no closer.